Greetings, Internet friends. Welcome to another episode of the Synergy Cafe online show featuring speaker, entertainer, close-up illusionist, and marketing alchemist, Magic Brad. It's the Internet Lifestyle Show about career, finance, relationships, spirituality, and wellness. We're moving the online chatter over to real-life activity. And now, please welcome your host of Synergy Cafe, Magic Brad. Hey, Internet friends. Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative. And I've got a friend over here from New York. Believe it or not, I'm in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and she is from New York. And her name is Ling Wong. Are you there, Ling? I am here. How are you? Wonderful. Well, thanks for... I know we had some confusion yesterday with the time zone switches and all that kind of stuff, but we're on now, so progression. It works. So you're in New York. Are you married? Do you have children? We have two kids. One boy, one girl? No, two monkeys. Two monkeys. <laughs> do you call them monkeys? <laughs> yep. Okay. So what do you do for your your occupation? What is it that you do for full-time work? or what do you? Um, yeah, well, I do a few things. Um, I, I do, I ghostwrite for some marketing companies on topics on B2B marketing, online marketing, content marketing. Okay. Um, SEO e-commerce all that good stuff um so really focusing on conversion and driving traffic and building um relationship with readers so that's one part of it and the other part is that i work with um coaches consultants um service professionals and small business owners to help them with their content marketing and copywriting and content strategy based on the idea of really understanding who they are who they serve and what the mission is, what the missions and conviction is really built on this value to mm-hmm. create a, um, a personal brand and then put it into words. See, just by listening to what you're talking about, I know you know what you're talking about because I've been around this stuff for quite a while. And uh, a lot of like coaches, they want to stick with their own thing. They want to be in control. And then they end up trying to learn all the SEO and all that kind of stuff. Whereas it's much smarter to outsource to someone like you that already knows the SEO and it's your job to stay on top of it. And then they can stay focused on their coaching business and do what they love. Absolutely. And the, the interesting about SEO, I don't want to dig into it, but it's really about getting people to, to come back and stay on the page. Yes. It's no longer just, you know, stuffing keyword and, you know, getting people to your site, but then bounce out because the bounce rate would actually hurt the SEO. Right. It's really about, as Google gets smarter, it's really more about building a relationship and, Mm -hmm. you know, treat, um, what I like to say is be human. All about it. That's why I'm doing these live video interviews where people get to be seen and see the eyeballs again. Part of our mission is to move the online chatter back into real life activity. So who knows? Maybe someday we'll meet in person. (laughs) So where do you where do you do your work? Do you pretty much focus on your local area, or do you kind of just broadcast over the whole world and do whatever you needs to be done for whoever? I work all my clients virtually. Okay, so you, do you work? Sometimes you work over with people in Australia, so it's like a twelve hour switch, and you're working at one o'clock in the morning when they're in the one afternoon. Yeah, I work, <laughs> I actually have quite a few clients in Australia and New Zealand. Um, so the time zone thing is a little challenging, but not undoable. Mm-hmm. I'm just I'm like, you know, the time zone is a little funky. So you may have hear the, you know, a few peeps and squeaks in the background as my kids run around. That's all good. Well, that's the new generation of how things are done. Um, I've always been self-employed and it's just like, I'm doing this out of my home here. I got my little magic lounge sign up there, but, uh. That, that's the way that people can work these days. If you've got internet access, you don't necessarily need to get in a car and drive through the snow and trudge through the skyways and all that kind of stuff. You can work from wherever you got access. Yeah, I know. The, There's my I can't office. Imagine doing, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I can't imagine doing like, you know, a two hour commute. That's like, that is crazy. Well, you know, on a, another topic that you'll probably appreciate is I'm working with a friend of mine, Ron Orr. I call him the Oracle because his mind thinks totally different than most. And, you know, there's the typical uh, one-on-one coffee meeting that people spend, you try and schedule three or six meetings in a day. And you take up your whole day with these coffee meetings, and then the next day you meet a bunch of new people, and you don't see the people that you originally met for months, months down the road. So what we're doing is 
basically in one fell swoop with using an advertisement, we can do a thing like this and broadcast it out to 10,000 people. And you can meet with those people in, the, in, a, in one coffee meeting with 10,000 people at the same time as opposed to one-on-ones. Leverage. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yes. I mean, one-on-one definitely has its value, but at the same time, um, you know, you just have to be really um, discerning about the kind of um, relationship you reach out to cal- to cultivate because we all only have 24 hours. Mm-hmm. But I mean, the, the, the first, the, the wide cast, the broadcast net, and then you can do the one-on-one once you develop that know, like, and trust. That's what these are about. So people see this video and they go, I like that Ling person and she's in New York. What the heck? I think I'll give her a call. She's on the Eastern time zone. Then you can get that one-on-one relationship. But initially... You just tell the world the, what you do. So you're a, basically a VA is what they call it, a virtual assistant. And you help people optimize their, their, um, their keywords and things. And I, no, I'm assuming... No, I, don't, you know, I don't call myself an SEO expert. No, like, no but you know it. A, I, I know it. I yeah. know it enough to advise as a content strategist. Mm-hmm. So not so much because I don't dig into your website. I don't, you know, you don't pay me that rate to format your blog post, period. Right. Like, I don't want to give you that fee to format your blog post. Mm-hmm. So I do the writing. I do yep. the content strategy. I totally I get it. You, I totally yeah, get I it. help find your writing voice and get clear on the message so you can actually express that out into the world without, you know, say, just copying what other people are doing because you see them doing the same thing online and you yep. just follow the clock. So it's really about um, standing out and finding your unique positioning and exactly. truly explain. Exactly. So first you can, can uh, give us some information on how to get a hold of you. Do you got a website or something like that? Then I want to ask you my favorite question that I like to close off with. Awesome. So um, my website is business-soulwork.com. Business Soul Work. So business-soulwork. S-O-U-L? W-O-R-K. Okay, and if you could send me that link so that I can put it in this, because what I do is I record this, put it up to YouTube, then I put it on blogs, and I propagate it out so people can find it. So business-soulwork.com. Got it. Okay, here's my favorite question, and it's the big why question. So you could have been doing anything. You could be a yoga instructor, or you could be a music teacher, or you could be a, uh, a horse trainer, but you chose to do what you're doing. So why is it that you chose this for an occupation? Very interesting question because the you know the the more I do it the more the why emerges because I I w- I went to architecture school I was I you know I spent some time in the field of architecture I spent ten years in the online marketing agency world I have been a health coach a bus- like a really business and marketing coach and it's the evolution of what I enjoy and you know what I love doing what sparks what floats my boat, what makes me happy, that brings me to really helping people find their voice and turning it into words and content and bringing in, you know, my experience in the online marketing world so that it's not just a feel-good, coachy thing, like think happy thoughts and your business will grow, right? I want to put um, solid strategy behind the clarity that makes you feel good. Got it. Well... I appreciate you taking the time, and it's interesting because 99% of these interviews that I do, it's always about helping other people. That's refreshing to know for humanity that you're also looking to help other people. So that's it. very good. So yeah, absolutely. I appreciate that, you taking the time this morning. If there's anything you want to say to sign it off, and then we'll uh, close out. I, well, I appreciate you having me here, and I look forward to connecting with your audience. Perfect. And if there's something else that you have to offer down the road in the future, we can maybe do one focus specifically on that. If you've got a new project that you're launching or if there's a, a niche that you want to, to comment on, we could do another one at a later date. You can always chat me up on copywriting and content marketing for, you know, small businesses, solopreneurs, entrepreneurs, service okay. professionals and the like. And you can also, if you want, just follow. go to followmagicbrad.com. You can connect with me on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and all those things so we can stay connected via the Internet. Okay. Wonderful. Okay, thank, thank you, you, Ling. I appreciate you taking the time. Thank you very much. Thank you.